fermi-liquid theory is a theoretical model of interacting fermions that describes the normal state of most metals at sufficiently low temperatures. The interaction between the particles of the many-body system does not need to be small. The phenomenological theory of Fermi-liquids was introduced by the Soviet physicist Lev Davidovich Landau in 1956, and later developed by Alexei Abrikosov and Isaac Kalatnikov using diagrammatic perturbation theory. The theory explains why some of the properties of an interacting fermion system are very similar to those of the Fermi gas and why other properties differ. Important examples of where Fermi-liquid theory has been successfully applied are most notably electrons in most metals and liquid He3. Liquid He3 is a Fermi-liquid at low temperatures. He3 is an isotope of helium, with two protons, one neutron and two electrons per atom. Because there is an odd number of fermions inside the atom, the atom itself is also a fermion. The electrons in a normal metal also form a Fermi liquid, as do the nucleons in an atomic nucleus. Strontium rather than 8 displays some key properties of Fermi liquids, despite being a strongly correlated material, and is compared with high temperature superconductors like cuprates. Description the key ideas behind Landau's theory are the notion of adiabaticity and the exclusion principle. Consider a non-interacting fermion system, and suppose we turn on the interaction slowly. Landau argued that in this situation, the ground state of the Fermi gas would adiabatically transform into the ground state of the interacting system. By Pauli's exclusion principle, the ground state of a Fermi gas consists of fermions occupying all momentum states corresponding to momentum with all higher momentum states unoccupied. As interaction is turned on, the spin, charge and momentum of the fermions corresponding to the occupied states remain unchanged, while their dynamical properties, such as their mass, magnetic moment etc., are renormalized to new values. Thus, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the elementary excitations of a Fermi gas system and a Fermi liquid system. In the context of Fermi liquids, these excitations are called quasi-particles. Landau quasi-particles are long-lived excitations with a lifetime that satisfies where is the Fermi energy. For this system, the Green's function can be written in the form where is the chemical potential and is the energy corresponding to the given momentum state. The value is called the quasi-particle residue and is very characteristic of Fermi-liquid theory. The spectral function for the system can be directly observed via a RPES experiment and can be written in the form where is the Fermi velocity physically. We can say that a propagating fermion interacts with its surrounding in such a way that the net effect of the interactions is to make the fermion behave as a dressed fermion, altering its effective mass and other dynamical properties. These dressed fermions are what we think of as quasi-particles. Another important property of Fermi liquids is related to the scattering cross-section for electrons. Suppose we have an electron with energy above the Fermi surface, and suppose it scatters with a particle in the Fermi C with energy. By Pauli's exclusion principle, both the particles after scattering have to lie above the Fermi surface with energies now. Suppose the initial electron has energy very close to the Fermi surface then, we have that also have to be very close to the Fermi surface. This reduces the phase space volume of the possible states after scattering, and hence, by Fermi's golden rule, the scattering cross-section goes to zero. Thus we can say that the lifetime of particles at the Fermi surface goes to infinity. Similarities to Fermi gas The Fermi liquid is qualitatively analogous to the non-interacting Fermi gas, in the following sense. The system's dynamics and thermodynamics at low excitation energies and temperatures may be described by substituting the non-interacting fermions with interacting quasi-particles, each of which carries the same spin, charge and momentum as the original particles. 
Physically these may be thought of as being particles whose motion is disturbed by the surrounding particles and which themselves perturb the particles in their vicinity. Each many-particle excited state of the interacting system may be described by listing all occupied momentum states just as in the non-interacting system. As a consequence, quantities such as the heat capacity of the Fermi liquid behave qualitatively in the same way as in the Fermi gas. Differences from Fermi gas The following differences to the non-interacting Fermi gas arise. Energy The energy of a many-particle state is not simply a sum of the single-particle energies of all occupied states. Instead, the change in energy for a given change in occupation of states contains terms both linear and quadratic in. The linear contribution corresponds to renormalized single particle energies, which involve, e.g., a change in the effective mass of particles. The quadratic terms correspond to a sort of mean field interaction between quasi particles which is parameterized by so-called Landau-Fermi liquid parameters and determines the behavior of density oscillations in the Fermi liquid. Still, these mean field interactions do not lead to a scattering of quasi-particles with a transfer of particles between different momentum states. Specific heat and compressibility Specific heat, compressibility, spin susceptibility and other quantities show the same qualitative behavior as in the Fermi gas, but the magnitude is changed. Interactions In addition to the mean field interactions, some weak interactions between quasi-particles remain, which lead to scattering of quasi-particles off each other. Therefore, quasi-particles acquire a finite lifetime. However, at low enough energies above the Fermi surface, this lifetime becomes very long, such that the product of excitation energy in lifetime is much larger than 1. In this sense, the quasi-particle energy is still well defined. Structure The structure of the bare particles Green's function is similar to that in the Fermi gas. The delta peak in the density of states is broadened. In addition, its weight is suppressed by a quasi-particle weight factor. The remainder of the total weight is in a broad, incoherent background, corresponding to the strong effects of interactions on the fermions at short time scales. Distribution The distribution of particles over momentum states at zero temperature still shows a discontinuous jump at the Fermi surface but it does not drop from 1 to 0. The step is only of size. Electrical resistance in a metal The resistance at low temperatures is dominated by electron-electron scattering in combination with um-clap scattering. For a Fermi liquid, the resistance from this mechanism varies as, which is often taken as an experimental check for Fermi liquid behavior, although it only arises in combination with the lattice. Optical response Fermi liquid theory predicts that the scattering rate, which governs the optical response of metals, not only depends quadratically on temperature, but it also depends quadratically on frequency. This is in contrast to the Druder prediction for non-interacting metallic electrons, where the scattering rate is a constant as a function of frequency. Instabilities of the Fermi liquid The experimental observation of exotic phases in strongly correlated systems has triggered an enormous effort from the theoretical community to try to understand their microscopic origin. One possible route to detect instabilities of a Fermi liquid is precisely the analysis done by Pomeranchuk. Due to that, the Pomeranchuk instability has been studied by several authors with different techniques in the last few years and in particular, the instability of the Fermi liquid towards the pneumatic phase was investigated for several models. Non-Fermi liquids The term non-Fermi liquid, also known as strange metal, is used to describe a system which displays breakdown of Fermi liquid behavior. The simplest example of such a system is the system of interacting fermions in one dimension, called Luttinger liquid. Although Luttinger liquids are physically similar to Fermi liquids, the restriction to one dimension gives rise to several qualitative differences such as the absence of a quasi-particle peak in the momentum-dependent 
spectral function, spin charge separation, and the presence of spin density waves. One cannot ignore the existence of interactions in one dimension and has to describe the problem with a non-Fermi theory, where Lutting a liquid is one of them. At small finite spin temperatures in one dimension the ground state of the system is described by spin incoherent Lutting the liquid. Another example of such behavior is observed at quantum critical points of certain second-order phase transitions such as heavy fermion criticality, mock criticality and high cuprate phase transitions. The ground state of such transitions is characterized by the presence of a sharp Fermi surface, although there may not be well-defined quasi-particles. That is, on approaching the critical point, it is observed that the quasi-particle residue on the other hand, specific quantum critical point represented by fermion condensation quantum phase transition supports quasi-particles with the finite quasi-particle residue. This phase transition does preserve the Pomeranchuk stability conditions and proffers a new way to violate the stability of Fermi liquid. These unique properties of the phase transition allow one to explain both the scaling and the non-Fermi liquid behavior observed in heavy fermion compounds. Understanding the behavior of non-Fermi liquids is an important problem in condensed matter physics. Approaches towards explaining these phenomena include the treatment of marginal Fermi liquids, attempts to understand critical points and derive scaling relations, and descriptions using emergent gauge theories with techniques of holographic gauge, gravity duality.